Okay, let me tell you what y'all looking at. First thing you're looking at, you're looking at my Quazilla enclosure. <laughs> this is my, let y'all get a good view of that. I might take everything off and walk you around it later. But right now you're looking at uh, a Sundown XAV2. The only difference between the V2 and the V3 is you got a larger motor and the V3 has a vent. Uh, the motor's is slightly larger. I think it's, I don't know, 15% larger or something like that. Uh, I know you're saying, well, it definitely dwarfs the Toro. Yes, it does. As far as height and looking at the girth and mass, you'll say, oh, yeah, the Sundown is beefy. The Sundown weighs, okay, the V2 weighs 26. I think the V3 weighs 28. You know I've had the V3. Uh, this I got this out of my son's vehicle because now we're going to go to something else in his vehicle. But I wanted to show y'all something because I tell y'all all the time the cone area is king. Don't worry about magnet size. All you need the motor to do is be able to move the soft parts. The Sundown has a large magnet because not only do they use it to move the soft parts, they also use it to dissipate heat. So we know some of y'all love to throw insane amounts of power to eight. Uh, even if it's not, couldn't get you any more throw. Y'all just want to be able to say I got 2,000 watts going each one. Okay, but it's reached this linear X max at 750 to 1,000. So you're not getting louder, you just dissipate heat. But either way it go. That being said, I want to show you something. I tell you, Coney is king all the time. This quad eight enclosure, this is a 73 ounce, 73 eighths inch cutout. Watch this. Pops right in, doesn't it? 73 eighths, which is the cutout standing on most eights. 73 eighths inch cutout. Well, the Toro <laughs> does not have a 7 and 8 inch cutout. It doesn't. The, the cutout on a Toro is, the manual says 7.4. I have found out that it's not 7.48. It's more like 7.625 is the cutout, the mounting cutout. So this is a 7.38 inch hole. Some of y'all gonna say, no, that's not fair to the set. So I'm gonna stick these wires completely in here so you don't know it's, it's, not, it's definitely not the wire, but it's not even gonna go that deep. <laughs> It's not even going to go that deep. So if the cutout's bigger, what does that tell y'all? What else is bigger? The cone area, fellas. The cone area. <laughs> and if the cone area is bigger, then how much more air am I moving with this stroke in comparison to a, a, a subwoofer that has a 7.38 inch cutout? 7.7 7 to 3 inch cutout. I'm moving a whole quarter inch more of air. Those of you who, some of y'all know it's just Sundown Nut Hug, because I used to be a Sundown Nut Hug myself too. I ain't think nothing wrong with Sundown. I still don't think nothing wrong with it. Great subwoofer. But cone area is king. So some of you, y'all see these bass man, so that's just the same old bass that's used by everybody. Uh, no sir, bro. So make sure y'all know this ain't no trick photography. We're gonna try to drop it in. Yes. Yes, there it is, bro. As far as it go. Yeah, as far as it go. Put that wire in there, make sure. That's, that's it, bruh. It won't go in now. And it won't go in because the basket is bigger. So the, the point is, the video don't do the Toro justice. Yes, the Sundown might have a larger motor. Easy to dissipate heat. But the Toro has a larger basket, which means, and I, it doesn't, it's deceptive, but it also has more cone area than the Sunday SA3 V3 because it has a bigger basket. 
I don't even know if you can see that by looking at it. I couldn't tell. I mean, I, I, I said 7.48, 7.38. Ah, this could be a tight fit. No, uh, tight fit in my ass. <laughs> it's got a bigger basket. Quarter inch bigger basket. Just something to consider. Now, with that being said, I'm still waiting on my, my fourth and final Toro 8. And then when I get it side by side, I can see, yeah, the Toro 8 is slightly bigger. <laughs> Just slightly bigger. But anyway, let's look at this quad 8 enclosure here, man. Oh, yeah, I can make this. Oh, excuse me. I can make this work with anything. This is the unfinished look. So I'm finna finish the screw holes, fill the screw holes in. Got round them ports in, round them ports out. And then we got a stain and gloss. But I call this my Quadzilla. It can come with four arrows and come with a slot port in the middle. You know, when it's custom, you get to choose what you want. My personal preference, I don't know. I just think that, I think that slot, I think them, I don't know, slot or, slot or four arrows. I don't know, I just got a love for them. For them eight, so that's my quad in enclosure. Yeah, baby. Unfinished boy. Wait till you see this boy finish. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all that, man. Keep the channel interesting. Peace.